it's Kata sending sweet Valentine's Day greetings to you and those you love. When people ask me, Kata, what made you become a doll collector as an adult? These were things I loved as a kid, things that made my childhood special and imaginative. Of course, as I grew up and moved on to other things, I let them go. But even though I didn't have them anymore, they never stopped being special and memorable. And now there was like an added mystique to their specialness, like the fog of a childhood memory. And could they really have been as fun and as wonderful as I remember? It never occurred to me that I could have them again until it did. So I set out to reacquire my 11 childhood Barbies. Not my actual childhood Barbies themselves, I mean, I wish. I've been buying these one by one on eBay over the last four years. Side note, if you think about it, how would I know that this isn't my actual childhood Barbie? I mean, aside from the fact that Mattel made thousands of these dolls all across the world and my eBay purchases came from a completely different part of the country, wouldn't it be wild if it was my actual childhood doll come back? I mean, the only way I would ever know is by researching the provenance of each doll, but it's mostly just really fun to think about. So in a minute, I'm going to introduce you to the nine out of 11 childhood Barbies that I've reacquired so far. But first, we're about to add one more. Today, I am absolutely thrilled to unbox a vintage Barbie from 1980, the Golden Dream Barbie. This doll is 44 years old and has never been out of the box. I'm an out of box collector, but Looking at this doll all perfect inside her box, it's like taking me back to being a little kid on my birthday and I've just unwrapped the biggest birthday wish ever. As simple as this box is, it's like a classic. And my heart skips a beat just looking at it and having it in my hands. With this doll, the reacquiring of all my childhood Barbies is almost complete. There's still one left to go, the 1979 Pretty Changes Barbie, so hopefully I'll find her one day. But right now, let's give this Golden Dream Barbie some air and introduce her to her new sisters.
Okay. She came with her own little comb and brush. And I would like to try to curl her hair with the little curling iron. Curling iron, isn't that neat? She's got like the quick curl type hair. So it's got strands of like filament in it or something that makes it stay in place. Over time, it gets a little dull. Look how shiny it is right now. Gorgeous. So I'm going to try and see if maybe the curl mechanism will still work. See if the filaments in her hair are still active enough to keep a curl. Let's give that a shot. But I'm nervous to even touch it because it's so old. So we're going to give it a shot with a very wide tooth comb first. I have not put any product on it or anything. Let's just try to go with the curl. Um, how does this, does it go this way or the other way? The other way? Let's go the other way. That's not bad. Oh, that turned out kind of good. That turned out good. Yeah. Could probably do this side too. Yeah, I could definitely do some more, but it worked. I can't believe it after 40 plus years, it still works. Gorgeous. I am shocked at what good condition this doll is in. I am pretty sure that someone had opened the box previously, but hadn't taken anything out. The doll was still twisty tied in, which, oh my gosh, so much easier to remove Barbies back then than they are now. But her hair was still attached to the back and all the accessories were still in their plastic bags and still intact. But I mean, the gold glistens in this doll. I've seen a lot of these used and they do fade over time. So to know that this doll is 44 years old, right out of the box and literally golden. You know, her bodysuit isn't cracked. Her hair is shiny, almost like it's been oiled. I just, I'm stunned and amazed and delighted. I was terrified to put her shoes on because the little clasp usually breaks, but I got them on without breaking. Then I noticed they were on the wrong feet <laughs> because they have a right and left shoe. What? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. The quality is incredible that it could stand the test of time in a dusty old box. I just, I'm so happy. I'm like more excited than I thought I would be. I was terrified to brush her hair because it's so shiny and gorgeous. And I still haven't fully brushed it, 
But as you saw, I did attempt some curls and I can't believe it worked. She's beautiful and I'm delighted. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the dolls that I had previously acquired in the order that I purchased them in. The first one is the 1976 Ballerina Barbie. This was the very first Barbie that I ever got as a kid, and so this one has an extra special place in my heart. So when it occurred to me that I could buy the childhood Barbies that I had as a kid on eBay, this was the first one I bought. This next one is the 1981 Pink and Pretty Barbie. This Barbie came with so many different ways that you could change her clothes. Oh, where's her hat? Oh, she has a hat too that's not pictured here. But she has multiple clothes. She has skirts, pants, shirt, the pink fur. I was all about her pink fur. Something about this Barbie just spoke to me and I couldn't wait to get her again as an adult. So this is the second Barbie that I repurchased because it had such great, wonderful, good memories for me. The third childhood Barbie that I found was the 1979 Beauty Secrets Barbie. This Barbie is so delicate and feminine and so pretty. She has this function um, with her back <laughs> that doesn't really work very well. I don't ever remember it really working very well. Like Even when I was a kid and it was brand new, I don't think it worked very well. But it's meant to move her arms so that she like combs her hair. Press her back and you can make Beauty Secrets Barbie move her arms to use her beauty kit. And when I was in like second grade, Every girl had this doll. This was it that year. And I didn't have one. And I told my mom that everybody had one but me. But she was a single mother, you know. We had a budget to abide by. And so, um, you know, it was looking like I probably wouldn't be getting the Beauty Secrets Barbie anytime in the near future because Christmas was long past. My birthday was long into the future. So, um, you know, I had to just enjoy the Beauty Secrets Barbie from afar and from my friends. And then one day I came home from school and this doll was in a box on my bed. My mom had somehow come up with the funds and bought Beauty Secrets Barbie for me. The memories. So of course I had to get this doll again and she still brings me the same amount of delight and joy that she did back then. Thanks mom. Nineteen eighty-three, I think. Dream date, Barbie. Oh, this doll is very glamorous in eighties. And what's so fun about her is that you can like undo her ruffle and like put it in other like ways. Give her a giant collar. Like have it trail as a train. Much easier to do with two hands. It's kind of a two-hand situation. I believe my grandmother got me this doll for Christmas or something. I can just see my grandmother wearing this back in the day. And plus, with the violet eyes, my grandmother's name was Violet. So it just reminds me so, so much of grandma. So of course this doll has a very special place in my heart. But what really reminds me of grandma is the 1979, 78 Hawaiian Barbie. 
my grandmother was Hawaiian and she got me this doll because everything was Hawaiian. Look at how pretty and dainty this beautiful doll is. Not her original top. She had this sexy bikini going on. But this is how she came to me buying her pre-owned and, and I love it. The 1981 Happy Birthday Barbie. Did you know that there's a birthday Barbie, I believe, every year? Like, I don't know when the first one was. I think it was before this one. But I'm pretty sure there is a Happy Birthday Barbie for every year from back in the day through now, I believe. This one is lovely. I always thought her hair was so dated with the curly, curly bangs. And if it weren't in a ponytail, it would be quite the mullet. She's such a pretty girl. She always kind of reminded me of my mom. I think this is the 1976 Marie Osmond Barbie. Technically not Barbie, made by Mattel looks like Marie Osmond. That is a Marie face mold. Someone gave her and then later I think the Donnie to me as a gift for Christmas as a kiddo. This is like the only picture of me with a Barbie in existence from my childhood. To be honest, back then I didn't super love this doll because she didn't look like Barbie. And, um, and I thought Marie and Donnie were a little kind of square <laughs> but uh but of course now I have all these wonderful childhood memories of this doll so I had to get Marie and then later one of my BFFs gave me for Christmas her childhood Donnie and Marie dolls and all the outfits I did a video of that and it's so cute Okay, don't laugh at this poor girl. The 1982, I can't remember exactly, Kissing Barbie, which I found at a thrift store and, um, and then came home and proceeded to put red Sharpie on her lips. No. Not smart. Not smart, kids. Don't do that. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get it off. But the Kissing Barbie also has a mechanism in her back that does this. Her head kind of like, <laughs> at least that was the intention back in 1979 or whenever it was that this dog came out. She's really lovely. Is that the Stacy face mold? Anyway, not the superstar face, but superstar era Barbie. And such a pretty dress. Great doll for Valentine's Day. And lastly, I think every girl of my generation had a Malibu Barbie. I feel like Malibu Barbie was a few years older than me, so I'm pretty sure I had inherited someone's Malibu Barbie. This one looks like the Sun Lovin' Malibu Barbie because of her sexy tan lines. But one of my great YouTube subscribers commented that the Stacy, Stacy? that the Stacy Barbie face mold did not come on the Sun Love and Malibu Barbie. So, so we believe that maybe this is a mismatched Malibu head on a different Malibu Barbie body. So that's interesting. But yeah, found this one at a thrift store. Didn't come with her swimsuit, which I do have. But I wanted to take this opportunity to show the, I think, 1960-something Golden Elegance, I believe, dress. Um, which I also inherited for my Barbie collection back in the day. So this was one of the memories that I had as a child was this wonderful dress. So of course I had to put it on a wonderful girl.
So thank you so much for coming along with me today as I show you the Barbies that meant a lot to me as a child and especially coming along with me as I introduce the Golden Dream Barbie back into my life. I'd be really curious to know what your childhood dolls were. And do you still have them? Did you reacquire them like I did? Tell me all about your childhood dolls. And I hope you enjoy my videos and if you do, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Nostos algos. Nostos algos. Nosto algos. Can I, can I film this please? Wally? Yeah, I hear ya. My goodness! What is this doll? Glamour? Glamour? Why can't I remember? Date? Dream date! <laughs> but she has... From... From... From, I don't know, Superstar Day? From, I don't know, the 70s? From, I don't know, maybe late 70s? From back in the day into my childhood Barbie nostalgia thing. You want to give Valentine's Day greetings to the people? Yeah. Full of love. All the Texas kitties. All the Texas kitties. All the Texas kitties. All the Texas kitties. Now get your paws up. Sending Valentine's Day greetings to you and those you force love upon. <laughs>